Hey, welcome back to the C-Sharp Tutorials. We're working on, right now we're in the middle of a series of examples of recursive programming. So the next example that we're about ready to code is called the Greatest Common Divisor. And credit goes to Euclid, the ancient Greek mathematician, for coming up with this unique and uh, innovative solution. So first of all, we need to go back and do some revision of what we know about what a greatest common divisor is. So let's take a look at what, what a divisor is. So a divisor is defined as a number that evenly divides another number. So for instance, let's take the number 15. What are its factors? Well, 15 can be 5 times 3, 15 times 1. And so 15, 5, 3, and 1 are the numbers that are the divisor. So a common divisor is the next phrase. What do we need to know about that? So a, a common divisor is a number that evenly divides two different numbers. For example, let's take the numbers 20 and 30. The common divisor is, for these two, could be 5. Uh, it could be 10. So the greatest common divisor of 20 and 30 is not 5. It would be the, the biggest one, so 10. It could be 2, it looks like, as a common divisor, but that's not the one we're looking for. So here's a method for computing the greatest common divisor. So let's take 440 and 80 and do the greatest common divisor on this algorithm that uh, Euclid came up with. So we'll take the uh, grid here, this table, and set it up as number 1 and number 2. We'll put 440 in the first section and 80 in the second column. So we do a division problem. 440 divided by 80. Well, 80 times 5 will give us 400, and there's a leftover a remainder of 40. So let's shift the 80 over to the left column and put the remainder in the right column. So now 80 divided by 40 is 2, and there's no remainder. So now we're going to conclude then that the greatest common divisor is the last remainder you found. So the largest number that we found, or the last number we found, is the remainder was 40. So let's do another example. Let's take 180 and 50. So what is 180 divided by 50? Well, it is 1. And then we have a remainder is going to be, uh, looks like, 30 left over. So let's shift it over again. So now we have 150 divided by 30, and that comes out to be even. So it goes in 5 times, and the remainder is 0. So now we're going to conclude, then, that 5 is the greatest common divisor for these two numbers. Now, further down the page, we're going to write a program that will do this calculations for us. So let's switch into uh, Visual Studio, and I'll explain the code as we go. So we're back into Visual Studio here. I'm going to start a new project, and I'm just going to name this thing as Greatest Common Divisor. All right, let's start off by giving the user some instructions. So the first thing I'll do is tell the user that I will ask you for two numbers, and I will calculate the Greatest Common Divisor. So the first prompt is please enter an integer, and we'll call it int number 1. Then we'll do a parse for the uh, read line. Then we'll repeat the process, so I'll ask for them to enter a second number, and then also save that as number 2, which is an integer as well. So now we are going to uh, calculate an answer. So the integer answer is going to come from a function called gcd. So be careful you don't get the uh, wrong typing here. But we will ask for uh, two parameters to be sent, number 1 and number 2. Finally, we'll print the results. So I'll do a print read, uh, write line, and uh, I'm going to say the GC number or GCD of 0 and 1 is 2. And so these are placeholders for number 1, number 2, and the integer answer. We'll finish with a read line to pause. Next, we're going to create the function for GCD. So remember, we're asking it to compare two integers, so I'll use n1 and n2 as my integers. So first of all, we have a base case. So if the second number is a 0, that means that we found a remainder of nothing. So we will return then the previous n1. So think back to our table and how we calculated n1 and n2. So if the number is not a 0, if we still have a remainder, then we're going to recalculate using GCD as a recursive call. So we will shift the first number, the first input, to be what was the second. So n2 goes in the first position. 
and then we'll do the remainder as the second uh, parameter. So to explain to our user how we're calculating on all of this, I will say in an explanation, uh, not yet. Uh, okay, so uh, n1 divided by n2 has a remainder of n1 percent n2. And so we'll do some placeholders to give these uh, updates. Okay, so I'm going to try to run the program now. I'm going to pick something like 842 and 18. And it looks like the uh, remainder comes out to be the smallest rem remainder is a 2. So not a very common denominator. So I'm going to try another set of numbers. Let's try 485. And so you can see the remainder gets smaller and smaller. We have now a greatest common divisor to be uh, 5. So I'm going to pick something that uh, has actual uh, a divisor one of the other. So 1,500 uh, divided by 50 is divisible evenly, and so the greatest common divisor is the number 50. So it appears that the uh, program is working. So test it out with a few other numbers to make sure that you understand how greatest common divisor works, as well as the good example of a recursive program.